idea how to get in there without being noticed. Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. If you wore a Nort uniform and you were able to keep your... You cannot pass. Only the Norts have access to the prison. I've seen a few escapes in my time, but I never thought I'd see someone go to all this trouble to break into a prison. Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. The warehouse is off limits. Move along. Did you hear the bell? The bell? Of the port authorities? Of course. We're not in Teleme, you know. You better get going. The harbor master is ringing it. All the Norts must rendezvous at the port authority immediately. Must be something serious. Damn, we didn't hear either. We're done for. Come on, we need to move fast. Be off with you. I'll watch over the warehouse in your absence. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. We've been found. I told you that the smuggler was not worthy of our trust. The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison, but revealed to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition, then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? 
Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it would provoke such a fuss? Our work concerned the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tirfredi, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Tirfredi is without any doubt the land that our Saint Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, Saint Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the Illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced Saint Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depth sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. Did you try speaking with the senses? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahin, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the Ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back.
Captain, sir, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move it. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. the manifest to be found I've already been to the port authorities they keep the official documents upstairs Here's the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list.
Cannot pass.
So you're back. Right then. What about our business? We can guarantee that your merchandise will leave with us. <sighs> Thank you, Your Excellency. And bravo, Kurt. The commando will be most pleased. The cargo shall make the voyage. But who will be at its reception once it's arrived? That shall be your next mission. Once you've reached New Serene, go and find the Quartermaster. He will give you new instructions. Until then, I wish you a safe and pleasant voyage, Your Excellency. Kurt, good luck. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning fire. It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Good day, Excellency. Sir de Sade, to what do I owe the pleasure? It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? Alas, these renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade.
so. Constantine Dorsey, future governor of Tier Freddy. I'm enchanted, Captain. I am eager to board your ship. Enchanted as well, Your Highness. I hope you enjoy your voyage. Are you ready? Can we weigh anchor? We should be able to set sail with the tide, as agreed upon. My cabin boy, Jonas, is back on ship. I have you to thank, I imagine. You do. It's a rather sad affair, and though solved, leaves a broken family behind. All we can do is plot a course. No one tells the wind what to do. I do thank you. I didn't think you'd go to so much trouble for a cabin boy. Your actions bring you honor. Be back soon, Captain. <laughs>